now we're here it's brilliant that we've um, got here in the, the car that we borrowed but um, yeah we could plug in here we could use the car if I have my leaf um, we're now driving around obviously burning diesel which isn't great it's costing money uh, but nevertheless uh, we're not going far today I think the nearest uh, rapid is actually about 10 miles away from here so the infrastructure is not brilliant but um, yeah we're not going far we've got um, a party this afternoon so a bit of bowling to begin the day with and then we're off home uh, we've got a set up gazebos etc so I've just realised, um, I'm talking about the party, I don't know if I've actually explained what we're up here for. It's my sister-in-law's 40th, so uh, I think quite a few people are coming to their house and um, there's a gazebos, pizza ovens, booze <laughs> um, and party games from what I understand. So um, yeah, it should be quite a good afternoon. Well, it's the morning after the night before and I've got to be honest, I feel I'm surprisingly all right. It's a um, brilliant night, that pizza oven, uh, what a brilliant idea. Everybody engaged all night, a real talking point and really good fun. So um, we've come for a little bit of a walk because I'm um, just a bit of a muggy head and so uh, later on we've got to drive home. So I um, thought we'd have a, a bit of a walk, back for another coffee, bite a lunch and then we should be ready to, um, to make the long journey home. But um, I was thinking this morning about you know, I'm talking about the uh, Pulsar as if it's not a particularly good car. And that's not true. It is. It's a really nice car. But um, why is it that I like EVs so much better than ICE cars? And it's not just about because they're newer or more modern. Um, what are the, the actual reasons that I think that? So the, ultimately, what it comes down to, <laughs> what it comes down to for me is uh, relaxation while you're driving. Now, I haven't had a, a manual car for about eight years, so to go back into a manual car is, um, it's, it's always, I don't particularly enjoy it. I don't see the point in giving yourself another process to do whilst in the car when you don't need to. Technology's there that an automatic car for me is more than good enough. So um, that's one issue for me. The other is around the noise. Obviously, you know, a diesel engine, no matter what the speed, is going to produce a lot of noise. Uh, I appreciate in an electric car that at high speed there's going to be a lot of wind and tyre noise but what you don't get with it is the vibrations and the, um, the, the extra noise that you get from a diesel engine. So you put that together with the extra work of having to use the gears and that for me takes the relaxation out of driving away. Um, now I know this one had cruise control but in heavy traffic I wasn't able to use it because it wasn't adaptive so all these things just just make the driving experience for some people probably more involved for me um i would rather just relax a bit more cars so, can drive on their own cars will be able to drive on their own soon you're right but certainly, no older. certainly in your lifetime so i think by the time annabelle's old enough to drive uh, i think probably autonomous vehicles will be pretty much here i i think the the driving she'll have to do will be very limited compared to what we do now but um yeah, so I won't have to drive at all. You won't have to, you will have to drive because you'll have a want to go places. So ultimately, for me, um, EVs are better because they allow me personally to relax more while I'm driving and I enjoy the driving experience better because of it. Bye! Bye. Oh, I'm not the driver, <laughs> I know, Thomas. <laughs> Rather than getting diesel on my hand, this is exactly the kind of shell station that I think um, they should model where they put their charge stations. Uh, they've got a, a nice big shop, a coffee shop, a restaurant area. If you were to model this uh, across the country with your charge points, uh, I think they'd get really well used. Uh, the only thing to address with Shell is that obviously their cost. 49p, I think, kilowatt hour, uh, I still think is a bit too high. 
We've been using uh, Google Maps all the way down. Uh, Sarah's been in charge of it. There's been lots and lots of accidents, lots of route changes. Um, and somehow, I'm not sure how, we've ended up here at Bista Village. Um, There's an implication there. I'm not sure, yeah, how good Sarah's navigation actually is. What do you think of the queues to get in the shop? Well, there you go. We're uh, a couple of minutes from home now. Uh, reasonably straightforward uh, last leg of the journey, to be honest. It was busy, but um, nothing too bad. And um, one thing I forgot to mention when I was talking about how, in my opinion, EVs are better than ICE cars, um, regen braking, of course. Uh, what I noticed, obviously, this has got six gears. That kind of motorway speed when everything begins to slow, of course, you've got no engine braking really at all in sixth gear. Uh, you've got it all the time in in a um, electric car, so that is another really really big positive for me. That um, just makes it more relaxing, makes it easier to drive. You kind of you find yourself planning ahead a lot more and um, using that regen um, to your advantage, really. So that was um, one other thing I just thought of on the way back there. But see, as we're nearly home, what I thought I'd do is uh, give you some final figures on uh, mileage and um, MPG and all the rest of it. So according, this is all to do with the, the computer in the car. So we have done in total 457 miles. Uh, we've been on the road, actual driving time, uh, nine hours and 12 minutes. Um, and my MPG has averaged over the last three days 55.3 MPG. So um, yeah, that's not too bad. And to be fair, I was pushing on a bit coming on the last leg home there. So that's been sitting around sort of 56 towards 57 occasionally. So uh, that's not too bad. Um, I put, I think it was 45 pound of fuel in uh, when I filled it up before. I'm gonna to have to put a little drop more in, I think, now before I give it back. It wasn't on full when I got it, but I'm gonna to have to get it back to somewhere near where it was. So uh, that might be just another five pound or so. So uh, it's certainly, what I'm gonna do when I get home, I'm gonna work out what that would have cost me in an EV, and then I can do a comparison and just see, uh, taking away the inconvenience of the extra stops of an EV, uh, how much cheaper it would have been. So um, I'll do that when I get home before we finish. Right, there we are, back home now all unloaded, the kids all inside, we're just about to sit down to dinner. I've just done a final calculation. So uh, 450 odd miles, I reckon in my 24 kilowatt hour leaf, had I have taken that, I would have had to stop about six times. Um, now you can kind of take away a couple of the charges because uh, where we were, I was able to charge up there. So that would have been okay. But ultimately, if I had paid for every single charge, and if I'd paid on Ecotricity every single time, I reckon that would have cost me somewhere in the region of about £30. Um, as I say, it would have been less because I could charge up um, where I was. Also, uh, one of the stops we had, I know there's a free charger not far from where we stopped, so you can maybe take um, £10 off for that. But ultimately, £30-odd pound if I paid for everything, compared to... I think it's probably going to be about, by the time I've got the, the um, diesel back to where it was um, when I picked it up, it's probably gonna be about 50 pounds of diesel that I've put in here. So, you know, 20 pound difference, maybe 30 pound if you, uh, if, if I definitely say that I was able to get those free charges in. So, you know, it's not massive, but it's a reasonable difference. Uh, you add that up over the lifetime of a car, as we've done before, it becomes a really substantial um, difference. For me, on that journey, the convenience of taking a, an ICE car definitely outweighed the £30 that I would have saved. But if I had a EV, as I said before, that can do 150 miles, uh, I would definitely have taken that. So, you know, I'm nearly there. Hopefully the next car, as I said before, will get me there. Um, that's where we are now. But that's it for today, really. Uh, thank you ever so much for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed it, remember to like and share. And if you're not doing so already, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you again very soon. Take care.